Hello guys and welcome back to Penny Sing and it's been a while since we last played Ducky Ducky Literature Club and today we're going to continue our playthrough of Ducky Ducky we've, we've saved our game on a different choice where we're in we it will decide the fate of Sayari and I so which one should we choose since we didn't have enough replies in the end feedback on the last episode i'm going to choose hmm. my dearest friend you'll just stay as a childhood friend i guess i wonder what will happen if we choose this over this one well let's see i'm aiming for yuri anyway so let's check let's pick this choice you'll always be my dearest friend what you need most is for things to be like they're oh they've always been Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But, please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I don't know. So you smile to an incredibly pain expression. <laughs> this is what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest. I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. It's just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish, so please, please don't worry about this stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this whole time that there's no happiness down that fat. That's why I came here, just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right, I just wanted to go fuck the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Sing. I'll trust you in anything. Anything at all. So. So her smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she shames as large as can. She said I don't know how to react. She looks over her shoulder and passion me one more weak smell before turning around and running off. Sorry! I'm, I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have ever done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that she's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague, plague me in, until things pe get back to the way they are. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sarah will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Hmm, nani nani? It's the day of the festival. Up all days, I expect this to be one of her who to school with Sarah. But Sarah isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but that is a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the bench will be nearly complete. The banner here and I burned to destroy, and I yet to roll it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant tag reminding me not to forget anything in her shoulder. Finally enough, I probably feel the same way as not skip out the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sarah and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Thank you. are the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri will be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets in each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that she sold. Has all the poems for performing. In the end, I found a random poem on it that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't miss her with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dumb. You'd think that all this, this apparent rat should try a little harder. I saved that, but I can't remember what Sarah told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not snar nearly that simple for her. I understand it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up at all. <laughs> She'll take a little responsibility for her sink. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. I'm gonna blow her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? You can't delap her hanging. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But, Stammer embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about it, it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem that, like the bad guy here. I'm the one who's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full start also. Don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica's being as friendly as she's for some reason I probably like chill down my spine after hearing them. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. The brown and the uh, the best. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I paid to your page, yes. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its page, giving an almost professional feel. I recognize this can you respond from the ones they performed during the conference. What's this? I believe Sarah's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head. Uh, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said. She said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. 
But the bones never actually finish. It's just stop moving. Nani the fuck? Nani? This is creepy. Huh? Ah, what is this? Reading the phone, I got a bit in my stomach. See? What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. This phone feels completely different from everyone else. Everything else here is written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get here, so... Huh? Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't... Don't spend yourself. Monica calls out that out for me. I quickly in her face. Yeah, bye. Oh, I think it. I don't know if it's hard for her. It's not a big deal to anticipate for her. I help her break up. Even a simple gesture from her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they will always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach her house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer. She's not picking up her phone or e- either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. It sent that more like something a boyfriend would do. In any case, this feel is right. I say sorry, she'll knock on her door. Sorry? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't wait to have another reality. I'm kind of breach of privacy, but she really loves me. No choice. And say, oh, Nani! Nani the F! Nani the heck! What the heck? My god, Sayori. That's why Monica said, she le- you left her hanging. Oh my god. Man, this is so cool, creepy. What the hell? An exception has occurred. Pile game tripling on and then there's never video. Yanni? What the hell? What the hell? Is this is a nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So when will you do this? Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I'll be there for her. I told her I won't know what's best and that's everything will be okay. Then why? How would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her compassion. This has to be the what pushed her over the edge. Her agony scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walk her to the school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of it. Then I would have prevented this. I know I would have prevented this. I screwed the literature up. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now, nothing can bring her back. This seems some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chest and I wasn't careful enough. And I'll clear this guilt until now. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Nani? And what? Is that the bad end? Nani, Nani? Oh my god. What? Load game. Let's try loading this again. What? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's obviously the man she's my girl for herself. That girl, little I never, and good friends she's swimming too. You know the kind of where you never see yourself making today, but this kind of world application I've been on a charge long. We used to walk together on the next day, but signing on high school, she always ever sleep more and more. Bring her, huh? She won't share her night. However, I just signed another problem and let us up to me. Nani? Monica. What? It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Morning or two, the worst. Being trying to wake up and move my job. You know, I've always walked to school alone. What? I always tell this message about how I made some girls or something like that. But no, but... Man. So, the glitch happened. And now the story is being rewritten. Now we're walking alone. It should be... We should be walking with Sarah, but... The... Something happened. I'm perfect to count on just getting by the average while spending my free time and give. So, it's the anime club, but... There will be any girls in it anyway. School this is Jordan and it's ever burning. Alright, put my things up. Sure, I stare blank at the wall looking for one of my page clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them are probably way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Except, not just what to start with the anime club. Sing? What? Monica? Oh my god, this is the I see you here. It's been a while, right? Oh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles with me. We don't know each other well. We rarely talk with you more in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. What did you come here in for anyway? Oh, I'm just being looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know if there's any construction paper in here? For markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Huh, <laughs> about that? I have to quit the debate club. Really quit it? Yeah. To be honest, I understand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and close for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club do you decide to join? Okay, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Nani? 
Wait, wait, sure. That sounds kind of dull. I never see so far. Mm. It's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Three. Monica, Yuri, and Natsuki. So he removed, she removed Sayori. It's really hard to find you over something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. It's really cool. We recommend everything for poetry. I mean, one of my members even gives her manga class in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always sees that manga is literature, too. I mean, it's not wrong, I guess. And besides, the members, members, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Sink. By any chance, we're still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, in this time, she could do me a big favor. I won't ask you to join, but if you go to a better list, this is a club, we will make you really happy. Please? Monica? Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever resist someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, oh, awesome. Real sweet thing, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And that's the day marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. I being generally used for third year class and activities. Monica full apparently swings up in the classroom store. Oh, Daddy? I'm back. I brought a guest with me. <laughs> eh, what? Girl one. I guess? Seriously? You brought the boy? Why to kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Sing. Oh, what just gave me in this situation? This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? Not me. No, I'm not. Not Natsuki. The girl is the sergeant whose name is Martin Natsuki is one I didn't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki and energetic as usual. And this year, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. You who appears compared to more mature team, it seems to have a ter hard time giving up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both of you. So I ran into the second classroom and decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! You had a chance to let me know in advance before you brought someone, anyone new? It was going too well, you know. I must say, I forget it, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that will be great. Why don't you come sit down, Sing? They go to a beauty exchange from from a table. The more herbal in the corner where I'm opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Sit in an awkward or take a seat ne next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the paper to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. That like literature, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm glad that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find those two. We turn to the table carrying a tea set. She probably places a teacup in front of each other before sitting do setting down the teapot in the middle. We give a whole tea set in this club's room? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, it doesn't have to cut a cup of tea to help you enjoy a good bit. Ah, uh, I guess. Eh, the last trap got intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, she go! So that Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a past time for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri meant this man is so sharp and relief. So sing, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh. uh I'm enjoying how little I breathe this past period. I don't really have a good day of screen time. Thank you. I'm rather quiet to myself, half joking. Nasty's head set up for her. It's like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much for it, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing your sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Your taste is a real for a with your finger. My memories are useful in almost as both deep and complex fantasy worlds. The developer TV and cross function band is amazing to me. And selling good stars such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clear, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I'm walking. That is obvious by the way her eyes tied up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stars with deep psychological elements just reminds me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberate to take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read the horror book once. This really grasp something that can relate to me on a level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with your rock. Ah, uh, Inspector something, Yuri. Really, really. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, a story makes me think, or takes me to another world. Then I can really put it down. 
So real horror is something very successful, changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Huh? Why is that? Well, I just... As he said, start over for me for a second. Never mind. That's why I just like to write about good things, don't you, Nasuke? Nani? What gives you that idea? You have a piece of scrap paper around the club meeting. It, it looked like you're working on a phone call. Don't say it out loud and keep it back. Fine, fine. Nasuke, you write your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Yeah? Nasuke averts her eyes. You won't like them. Ah, oh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing his level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to one's help. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you should share some of your work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess the same for Yuri. We all did this help for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Uh, Monica, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, I mean, I thought it was good again. You know, I think you're right, Monica. You'll probably start planning things for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on responsibility of freshmen and upper all. I need to do my best in order to the club as well as members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Sing? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I've only come apart with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lost my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm? Eh? The girls changed the before Monica turns back to me. I guess I had to tell you the truth, Sing. But the thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really hard to find new members, and if we don't find one more before the festival... And defenses against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear-headed decisions like this? There should be another member, but you decided to delete that girl. It will feel terrible for letting everyone down in the situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls are laid up. Oh my goodness, really? Really mean that thing? Yeah. It will be fun, right? Really did it scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just let pour after all this, I would be super pissed. Sing. I'm super happy. Urashi, Urashi. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think now that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to, to bring back to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sing out for to see how you express yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I can. I don't know. And I really impressed the class star Monica with my magical writing skill. I really feel ostrich feeling. Um, Meanwhile, the girls continue to use the sure can of the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. With that, I'll the club and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really, really be having something in a brave club in a little club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Uh, yes, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and make sure a good person will find me. And I guess let's start with writing poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem, but you like to. Oh, yes. Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I stand somehow. Fit right now! Oh, shit! Well, I think we're going to save in this part. Now we only have to impress two girls because Sayori. Was suddenly removed in the game, and we'll see and, unco and uncover the truth in the future episode. And that's it. See you out in the next episode, boys. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, and don't forget to, to hit subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And that's it. See you out, boys.